Now we're going to move on and, and um, look at how to get the answers to problems 4 through 7, the next section of this assessment. So here I've got to make some new changes. I'm going to, I'm going to cut down the conservation of energy, turn that to 1, and the growth rate stays at 0.1. The blue sliders are going to change so that the renewable upper limit is 20, all the way down here, and the growth rate is 0.1. I'm going to turn the DCR, direct carbon removal switch, on. So at the start time to 2030, the target atmospheric concentration, I'm going to set this to 470. The cost decline rate, I'm going to make 0.02. So 2% per year decline in the cost of this, uh, of this process. The growth rate in terms of our capacity is going to be 2% per year, and the initial amount that we can with, withdraw from the atmosphere is 5 gigatons of carbon. So that's all set according to the instructions. Now I'm going to run it <clears throat> and see what the um, ending temperature is in this case. And here, by the end, we see we're down to just below to 1.97. So that's answer C. Then uh, 5 is what is the lowest pH in this case, so I'm going to flip to page number 2. Looks like the lowest pH is back in here, that's about 8.06. Um, so that's answer A. Then the next one is what is the cost, uh, the total cost per person? So that's page 14 of the graph pad. I'm going to get there this way. There's 14. We see that's up uh, considerably higher now. It's $9.2 thousand dollars uh, or $9.2 uh, thousand dollars per person at the um, at the end of time. So that's answer B. Now the last question seven is why do the human fossil fuel emissions drop to zero around the year 2095? So if we went back to um, Let's say graph pad number two, you can see the, the human fossil fuel burning emissions. This is gigatons of carbon. It's rising, flattening off, and then it just crashes, boom, to zero here. And so why is that? Well, it turns out that if we cycle through here to page 11 on the graph pad, we see the fossil fuels. So this is in gigatons of carbon. And by the time we get to about 2095 or so, we've essentially gone to zero. So we've run out of fossil fuels. And so that, that's why the emissions drop to zero because we've got nothing left to burn. So that's answer C on the uh, assessment.